Hey guys, what is up? It's been a minute, hasn't it? I think it's about time we caught up. I haven't really been inclined to pick up the camera that much over the last three weeks, month that I haven't vlogged. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie, I think it's due to the change of season and the fact that it's dark, cold and rainy all the time. I definitely, definitely suffer from seasonal depression. So I think I just needed like a bit of an adjustment period for that. And I'm not gonna apologize because I know that you guys also understand and probably have been going through the same thing, but I feel like we're on the other side now. I'm super grateful for my boyfriend. He has like randomly picked up the camera at points to like get little clips of things that we've been up to, which is cool because it means I can still share some of it with you guys. I've been up to quite a bit actually. I went down to London to see my mum, see my family, just spend some time because I do miss London and I miss my friends. And one of my friends has just had a baby, which is just insane to me. She's younger than me. I'm okay. I'm 31 guys. I know. I don't look it. <laughs> so it should feel normal, but I'm still like, oh my God, like, People are getting married and having children. <laughs> what? She is literally the most gorgeous thing ever. I definitely felt a little broody, I'm not gonna lie, but it's cool because I can just get my fix whenever I see my little niece. <laughs> so it was super nice to catch up and, you know, just just feel kind of grounded in my roots again because I feel like I, I miss being able to just pop out and see my friends. So yeah, I went down to London, came back to Manchester, had a day in between, and then my boyfriend and I were going to the GQ Awards. I'll repeat that. We went to the GQ Awards. What? We both worked with Boss over the last year. So yeah, they invited us and they booked us a hotel in the most beautiful hotel I've ever stayed in. One of the most. This room at the Mandarin Oriental was decked out with so many goodies and it had this gorgeous reading nook, which I've always wanted in my house. This gorgeous city view with the rain. It was so beautiful and like romantic. This room was absolutely stunning. We've got a gorgeous little bottle of champagne here. Look at this bathroom. It was insane. It was huge. Perfect lighting to get ready in. All I'm gonna say is prepare yourself for me being silly. I don't know if I should be posting this footage, but it is what it is. I am who I am and it's about time you guys saw this side of me as well. But yeah, super grateful to have stayed here. It was such a beautiful evening. Also, me and my boyfriend both saw this it was like hung up on the door polish my shoes i didn't know that that was a thing in hotels i mean i guess people still have other people polish their shoes but anyway prepare yourselves for the badness that's about to ensue bam are we doing this again bam son peace on the streets son. oh shit what is it peace on the streets son. Son. right i'm gonna tell you what i'm wearing oh sorry about the messy room guys my dress is House of CV. All my jewellery, apart from a few rings, is Pandora, including the straps that I added to my shoes. These aren't the original straps, but I thought I'd add a bit of my own flavour to them. And the shoes are Steve Madden. Um, and that's it, I think. That's everything. Oh, and my bag. I got a little diesel bag recently. I like it. That's the outfit. Nice. Basically, we've just recorded this whole segment and it wasn't recording, so we popped the champagne. My bad. Cheers, Moe. We had a whole debate about expensive versus cheap wines and which are supposed to taste better. This, I don't really love Moe, but I like that it's very fizzy. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we've got my it's crazy eyes very on. fizzy. What's your name? Tasha's boyfriend. <sighs> that stinks. <laughs> fucking chicken and bacon sandwich. I regret getting that for you. Yeah, you, you did that to yourself, to be fair. See how much I love you? Bitch! <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, I'm actually shitting myself. Wait, keep it going. No, I'm come, myself. come in here. Belt to be on the red carpet. Keep it going. Belt to be on the red carpet. This isn't going in. Yes, I'm in the red carpet. I'm shitting myself. Do the laugh you were doing. You what? Do the laugh you were just doing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh Everybody, Tasha Green. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna hate myself when I watch this back. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the state of this setup. Look at this fucking tripod. The state of it's the camera. Heavy. Do you it's know what it is? Heavy. See the camera from the front. You can't tell how big the lens is. Oh, it's wham. <laughs> hey, get it, get it, get it. Get the it. red carpet. Hey. Go get, uh, go get, uh, go get, uh, go get, uh, go get. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? 
Sit a bit. The party was insane. Right now it looks empty, but this dance floor was rammed by the end of it. Everybody was just going in. It was just, it was the best night. I didn't feel much at the party because there was a lot of famous people there, which was wild. It was so cool. And yeah, I just didn't want to like be invasive or make them feel uncomfortable or anything like that. Um, but I was also just busy having a lot of fun. Like a lot of the time I forget to like actually collect memories in video or photo form when I'm having so much fun. I did however manage to get a video of my girl Tara doing her thing. She is such an amazing DJ you guys. If you don't follow her, follow her. She's the coolest, her style's insane. And we met her boyfriend this night as well. Just the coolest couple ever. Morning. Morning. You having breakfast? Yeah. Avocado and mushrooms on toast. Just getting rid of the pickled onions because it hurt my stomach. <laughs> Just casually looking at that bed, you know, as you do. Could stay here forever, really. The bed was lovely. I tried to take the pillowcase off to find out the brand that they're gatekeeping, so I have to send them an email or a, um, a DM, you know. What am I doing with my hand? I don't know. <laughs> oh my god, and also, look at this breakfast muffin. Thank you, have a you should see the almond croissants. <laughs> almond croissants. Almond. <laughs> The GQ Awards, amazing. Also experienced quite a few firsts, which is nice because at the age of 31, you kind of can feel like you've done everything. So here are a few other things that I had the pleasure of experiencing over the last month. How what are you doing? How excited are you? Just have an Asian supermarket down the road and I'm excited. <laughs> How did I know? Oh, these are nice as well, the steam buns. Got her shopping. Oh, sushi. <laughs> I bet it's good. Oh, that actually looks really good. This reality. I think he likes it. On today's agenda, I've got a couple of beauty appointments that I need to attend. I got lash extensions a couple of weeks ago and it literally makes my life so much easier. It's been years since I've got lash extensions, but um, I just feel like for now, it's something that I'm probably gonna maintain for a little bit because I like it. So I've got that at 12.30 and then later on, I've got a Botox appointment. We're going to a Christmas party tomorrow. My management are holding, um, so I just wanted to be fresh for that. <laughs> There's a fly in the room. I don't think I'm gonna put much makeup on today. No point gonna get my lashes done and then secondly the Botox They're just gonna wipe it off anyway. I'm heading over to the Trafford Center for my second appointment I may do a bit of shopping as well. We'll see 
but it might happen. I'll keep you updated. I do need a new pair of Dr. Martens because mine are busted. And maybe try and find something to wear for tomorrow because I literally don't have anything. I don't have any like winter appropriate clothes really. I need to update you guys on the spare room situation as well. There's been some changes, um, but I'll update you guys on that in a little bit and you guys can help me sort it out. I'm gonna put a little bit of whatever's left over on this brush, blush on. I probably won't film my lash appointment. First of all, my eyes are closed, and secondly, it's just a bit awkward, isn't it? So, uh, this is the before. This is about two weeks in. I feel like they look all right. So I'm back home, started showing my lashes. The lash lady killed it. So good. Um, I this time went for mostly just short and medium because I really wanted that like wispy kind of cat eye look. I just went for the classic lashes, but I might try the hybrid Russian next time for a bit more volume, but I kind of also just like them to look quite natural. So good, she's so quick, she's so good at it. Very chilled, I always fall asleep. <laughs> We've just ordered a Thai curry. Bronson thinks he's getting some, but you're not. Tonight we're watching Ambulance. Very excited. Jake Gyllenhaal's in it, and I watched the trailer and it just looks sick, so I'll let you know my thoughts and feelings either later on or tomorrow. As you guys already know by now, I am part of the Sky Cinema Club, which means every month I get to share amazing movies like this one and review them for you. We've just paused it to take a break. This is so intense. It went from zero to 100 real quick. I, my heart is beating so fast. I feel like at points I'm not breathing. <laughs> Bronson's enjoying himself. Look at him. He's your body boy. It is bright and early the next morning. It is still dark outside. I have quite a few things to do this morning. We ended up watching that movie last night and I didn't pack, but tonight we're going down to London for my agency's Christmas do. Don't have anything to wear for tonight, so I'm a bit stressed. I was hoping to go into town this morning, but the shops don't open until too late before I have to get my train, so I won't have any time. Probably just see my mum and her husband, my parents, and I'm meeting up with a friend also. I don't think I'm gonna vlog any of it just because it's gonna be really hectic. But yeah, I quickly wanted to jump on and chat to you guys about the film Ambulance that we watched last night. If I was gonna give you a film synopsis of Ambulance, it would be two adoptive brothers, one of them needs to pay for medical care for a loved one, one of them kind of needs convincing but they basically end up trying to rob a bank and it doesn't exactly go to plan as you guys saw from my reaction whilst we were watching it it was a real nail biter the scenes were so well thought out the way they shot it i always say this but i really love cinematography and like the thought behind the style of like how things are shot and I think the style was really complimentary to like I guess the feelings they were trying to evoke of anxiety <laughs> there was some really cool like angled shots and drone style like, helicopter style shots that really just added to like the intensity of the film certain shots made me feel like I was a fly on the wall it felt like I was in the movie and it was stressful let me tell you such a good film real nail biter it starts off very chilled but it very quickly builds into like the most intense thing that you've ever experienced As as always Jake Gyllenhaal was amazing every time I see him in something it just reminds me how good of an actor he is and Yaya Abdul Mateen who's one of the other main characters that plays Jake Gyllenhaal's brother in the film he's also incredible I think what well, we saw him in something recently oh in Candyman such a good actor as well it was just a really exciting film it was really enjoyable to watch so yeah i loved it i hope you guys check it out i also wanted to give a huge shout out to a film that i was lucky enough to go to a preview for it's a sky original it came out in november on the 17th so i really wanted to recommend this to you guys i think i spoke about it a little bit in a vlog it's called aisha it's basically about hardships that immigrants have to go through and it's a really touching deep emotive film it really makes you feel i would really recommend it it's pretty hard hitting but there's also some like really heartwarming moments in it and it's yeah it's a really really good film. Letitia Wright is the main character. If you guys know about Letitia Wright then you know so. Anyway I need to get up because suitcases to pack, trains to catch. I guess I'll see you when I'm back from London. Okay I've got something to show you but firstly I'm going to ask you to not judge me on my outfit. I'm literally wearing my boyfriend's ginormous joggers and a bra because I've just done a wash and this is literally all I can find and you'll soon understand why but don't judge me on this okay. I, I've, I can explain. Right, so you remember I tidied this room? Basically, about a week ago, my boyfriend and I built some Pax wardrobe system. I don't even know if you can see this because this one's mirrored. There is another one to build, but we didn't account for the fact that there's a fire alarm up there. So basically we need to get a tool so that we can cut out 
make a cut out in the top of it so we can fit it in there and we don't want to build it until we've got the tool and also we were so busy <laughs> since last week i think I had one or two days in between finishing building this and having to go to London, which you guys would have seen. I had to get like prepped. Um, and I also injured my knee, which I didn't mention, which came back with a vengeance today, but I'm just not gonna let it get in the way today because I need this, this room is stressing me out. I have nothing to wear. I can't find any of my clothes because it's such a mess. And the reason it's so bad now is basically the night we got back, we were going to Garage Nation, which is like a, a garage night. So that was another night of drinking and socializing and partying and not being at home, being able to kind of do stuff. Basically, we thought that we were gonna have people come over that we were gonna host before going and then somebody was gonna stay. So we had to clear everything into this room. <laughs> and it's just a mess. So that explains that. But I'm determined to get this done because I just can't, it's disgusting. I can't walk through here anymore. I can't look at it anymore. I literally can't find any clothes to wear and I, I want to sort through my clothes so I can figure out like what I need for the winter season because I feel like I've got no winter clothes. I don't know where they are. It's literally like 8.30pm and I just want to at least make a dent because this is disgusting. <laughs> so I'm just going to get started. I feel like I've just been chatting away and not actually doing anything. I'm just going to start like putting things in even if it doesn't end up being like where I want it permanently at least it's tidied away um, and then I can kind of just rearrange. But there is literally so much I need to get rid of. Like, so much. And the worst thing is I know I've got more in storage, which is just disgusting. Ooh, I got this jacket from Zara when I was in London. I've been trying to buy this online for so long and it's always sold out. But um, before I went to my work's Christmas party, I had, like, about two hours. I had to run to, like, the nearest Zara. I had nothing to wear, basically. And I was like, where's going to have Christmas wear? And I thought, Zara. Honestly, it wasn't my favourite Zara. I think it was the area that it was in. They kind of stock it for that. And I feel like it's more, more of, like, a business area, like, business district. And I feel like this isn't very much the kind of style that people that kind of are around the area would wear so that's probably why they had literally so many of them i ended up getting it in a large did want a medium but they only had a smaller a large i don't know if it's too big it looks vintage it's like this faded faux leather and it's almost got like a greeny brown tint to it i love the crop and like the oversized fit i just think it looks so cool although it's probably too cold to wear it now but i've got thermal i'm wearing thermals under this right now i'll just have to work with thermals and like a cool hoodie even just like tracksuit bottoms i just i love it Let me see. So That's definitely cleared some space already, which I'm so happy about. How sick, by the way, the lights, I hope you can see it, from the bedroom light up the inside of the cupboards. <laughs> so cool. So I don't even need to like figure that out basically. She's not damn, no play with her. She's not damn, no play with her. I got a R O D. She got a P and C. Baby girl, you know you was made for me. Hop in my bag and I stay in it. Hit from the back and I stay in it. She's not damn, no play with her. She's not damn, no play with her. I got a R just got back from the gym it was a good sesh i didn't actually have any knee pain which is amazing i'm not gonna lie i feel like i've been having a bit of an issue with vaping at the moment and i think i just need to stop i honestly feel like it makes my blood pressure really high like i wake up with really swollen fingers my knees have felt terrible yesterday i didn't vape as much and I didn't feel half as bad this morning. Need to stop. It's not good for you. It's not good for you, man. Like, we don't even know anything about it, really. It's just really dangerous. Like, when you work from home, mostly alone, and you're just sitting down all day, it's just, like, something to do. It's, like, comforting. But really, like, what am I doing it for? I don't get anything out of it. I can stop whenever I want. So, like, just, just do it, right? <laughs> anyway, back from the gym. Good sesh. I am now going to make some food. I'm trying to eat a bit more protein. I've been ordering so much lately. Oh my god. And then I'm gonna jump in the shower and we've got some we've got some stuff to build. God, I can't wait to eat this. I also cannot wait to get a table to eat on. This sofa is the most uncomfortable sofa, unfortunately, because it looks great. Need to get a dining table. ASAP. But I think what we might do, zoom you guys in a little bit is um maybe just actually use the one that i have and just vinyl the top in like a concrete look vinyl maybe even spray paint the legs because we don't really need to be spending loads of money on that stuff let's give this a taste mm. 
it's just too good i'm gonna show you guys how i make this soon once the fridge is full again so i can do like a excuse me what i eat in a day i should know better than to talk with my mouth full oh the sriracha is hitting though Woo! last night we went for food with um my boyfriend's mum and we went to a place called ashes it's an indian restaurant so loads of curries and stuff it was unbelievable it is a little bit spenny it's not like ridiculous but it is a little bit more spenny than the huge but oh my god was it worth it i'll leave the link down below but yeah had such a lovely evening it was so nice to see my boyfriend's mum as well because i haven't seen her for it feels like forever it's been such a long time she came back to quickly see the dog and see our flat yeah it was cute it was so cute it was so nice to see her she's honestly she's just the best i love her to bits she's so so lovely what are you saying bubbies so weird when i look at bronson now he definitely doesn't look he still looks like a baby but he doesn't look like a baby baby anymore he's growing up <laughs> too quickly anyway i'm gonna enjoy this and then i need to hop in the shower there's so much to do today i've got to dye my hair i'm also going to be treating my hair with a brazilian blow dry keratin treatment all right i'll see you guys in a bit cheers cheers Right, so little Dunham, Dun Dunham, I can never say it. Little, why can't I speak at the moment? Dunham. I need to slow down. Little Dunham Hall. So we got two bedside tables that we had to click and collect because they didn't deliver, which is kind of annoying. We got some lamps. I couldn't decide. I've got a bit of like a, a weird thing where I like symmetry. So I couldn't decide on a lampshade, but obviously there's two of us, we share a flat and I can't just make all the decisions. But we've got this to go on his bedside table. He's got a really cool idea for it, but I'll show you like as he builds it, I guess. We've got to get some trinkety bits for that. But yeah, we will not be using it for cheese, ham, bread, fig, olive grapes. <laughs> How cute is this little bowl? So cute. Sorry, but since when was Dunelm expensive? That stand thing that I just showed you was 38 pounds. I'm really worried about putting this on. Oh stuff. yeah, we don't want to scratch it. Do you want me to get the throw so you can lay it down? Yeah, you can do that if you want. How cute is this little notepad and pencil case? Nice neutral colors. Kind of wish I got one now, but I don't need it. Here are the lamps. How cool are these? Should hopefully look really cool on the bedside table. So we did get two of these. Ah, they do look really, they suit the style of this flat very much. My other choice was this, which I think is so cute. But to be fair, because they both got like a round lighty bit, it might, it might work. I don't know, maybe this will go somewhere else. Maybe on like the desk in the spare room. That would be quite cool. Yeah. I saw it and I was like, I need this. So yeah, that is what we got from Dunelm. Hopefully the bedside table's fit and hopefully it all looks nice when we're done. We've got a sofa bed coming on the 13th. I forgot about that. Now I'm like, should we have got the black and not the cream? No, the cream's sound. Do you reckon? Yeah, the black looked cheap. I don't know. Anyway, fuck it, it's just a sofa bed. <laughs> um, okay, we'll catch you. On the flip side. <laughs> he knows me so well. Yeah. and smash it to bits. Oh my God, imagine. Oh. I'm gonna have somewhere to put my Kindle. <laughs> I'm gonna have somewhere to put my Kindle at night. Look at the uh, sky right now. The sun was literally, <sighs> wait, where's my finger? The sun was just between these two buildings. Right here, it was so cool. Anyway, back to the main event. <laughs> How do I film this? <laughs> How do I do this? <laughs> it's such an awkward corner, that. Oh, it covers the. It does indeed. I mean, it's fine forward, I think. Yeah, it's alright. Oh, that's so nice to have a bedside table. Oh, it's pretty cool in there. Wait, 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 wait. Kinza! I'm gonna put the lamps and stuff on as well. Wait, 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 wait. I don't know if I'm gonna put that one or if I'm gonna put the other one. It is nice though, isn't it? it oh, cool that's there. cool, that. I think that one. Let's see what the other one says. How cute. Oh, I don't know which lamp to go for. This looks cute on camera as well, this one. Oh, that is cute.
Now we build the rail. Rail is done. Two tip. Extra storage. Now I'm gonna roast at 9 p.m. and I will stack this up tomorrow because I'm tired. Whew, it has been a day. I've been out shopping, done a bit of Christmas shopping and sneaky whilst my boyfriend is in London for work. As you guys can probably tell, I've done a bit of damage. I also bought some bits for myself, which I wasn't intending on doing. I actually went to find something for a job. Couldn't find anything for that, but I found loads of other pieces. So I thought I'd do a little haul. I didn't I didn't try anything on, so we're just gonna have to hope for the best. I'm probably not gonna try anything on now either, because I'm not gonna lie, I'm exhausted. I've been out of the house all day, and it's like 5 p.m. now. I'm sure you'll see it in vlogs to come anyway, because I'm gonna probably wear it all soon, or on my Instagram. So definitely check out my Instagram if you wanna see how I style the pieces, if I keep them. First thing I got was this Carhartt bag. How cool is this? I got it from size. I just checked now though, I didn't realize that it was 60 pounds, which is kind of wild for like a glorified bit of plastic, but it is very cool. It's got a longer strap that you can lengthen, wear it crossbody, and you can also tighten this drawstring part. So it like changes the shape. Oh, it doesn't look as good on camera, I don't think, but it's very cool. And I think it'll be really good for dog walks as well. I didn't buy anything interesting from Boots, just some micellar water. So we'll leave that out. The rest of this is gifts. So we'll just uh, slide that on over here. Thankfully, my boyfriend doesn't watch my videos. So from Zara. You guys know by now I have a chunky boot obsession and I saw these lace up ones and I just could not leave them behind. I need to try them on and see like how they go with stuff and if they suit me because I'm not sure if the shape or the height is going to look good. But they're pretty cool. You guys saw me wearing my um, boyfriend's long black jogger bottoms earlier on in this video. Well Zara had a very similar pair. I got them in small, I'm hoping that they fit how I want them to because there's no drawstring and I'm hoping that they're long enough because I really wanted some like open-ended tracky bottoms. Got quite a few like basic bits as well. I saw this jumper, it's got this really gorgeous cut out details but the quality seems really nice. Nice little high neck, you can't even see the colour properly here, it's like a khaki. But I thought it would be very cute and it would be a nice layering piece as well. It's not too thick, but it's not super thin either, so. I got some basics, I saw this and I thought it was so nice. It's really like fine ribbed, long sleeve top, but it's got like an asymmetrical neckline. I don't know if you guys can even see that on here. Again, I just thought it would be a really nice layering piece. The quality feels really nice as well, like it's thin, but it's like a thick thin you know it's not like a flimsy thin it doesn't feel like it's going to be see-through either so that is much appreciated this one i actually saw beforehand and i just didn't put it back before going to the till this one is a bit more like thin but super soft still probably a bit more see-through and it's got that little cutout detail there i got this in a medium because that's all there was so i need to see how this looks on because i don't know if the bagginess is going to look good but it also might look really cool and that one's a bit more of a like beigey cream i guess this is like a true cream this is more like a beigey cream so they're not identical okay but i really am getting into like wearing more basics and like i need some layering pieces and some long sleeve tops so then i saw this shrug thing and it's got a roll neck um it's a really nice gray knit the quality again feels lovely another basic i just got this long sleeve like crop it's so soft and i just needed it in my life oh. and then i think this is the last piece yeah i saw this striped pullover hoodie but it's like a 
proper knit it's not like a jersey material this is in an extra small to small that's the only size they had left it's pretty big it looks really big but i think this would be really great just to throw over on a more casual day and it's very much giving me wednesday adams vibes which i'm here for i also feel like this would look very cool with the boots but yeah like i said check out my instagram and that if you want to see how i style this stuff or just keep watching the vlogs because i know i'll be styling it in the vlogs as well surprisingly the boots were like 90 pounds but this only came up to like 200 and something i don't know why i was expecting it to be so much more but I was very pleasantly surprised by that and to be honest there's way more that I'd like to go back and have a look at properly there was some really really cool stuff in there today but I just did not have the arm strength for it so yeah it is what it is I'm probably gonna have to go back into town tomorrow though there's a few pieces that I couldn't get today or that aren't in stock anymore so I need to figure that out or find replacements Anyway, I'm gonna pack away that HelloFresh box and then the rail situation. I'm gonna go deal with that room. I'm not gonna film it because sometimes it's just so much effort, like trying to get the angles and get the shots when you're doing that kind of stuff. And I feel like you've seen a lot of that in this vlog already. So it's probably gonna be quite boring and I just wanna get it done so I can organize my stuff. I think I'm gonna leave it here for the vlog. I do have a little bit of footage that I'm gonna put in after this. Basically, I keep getting questions about how I straighten my hair. And this is before I did my little Brazilian blow dry keratin treatment, which I don't know if it's worked yet, we're gonna see. So I'm gonna put that footage in now. But other than that, I'm gonna leave it here. So uh, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next vlog, where hopefully life will be a little bit more organized. And yeah, hopefully we'll be doing some fun stuff. So I'll see you then, peace. Let me zoom you guys out just a little bit. I posted on Instagram a little story this morning. I got a question from Destiny asking, do you straighten your own hair? I need to learn because the monies are not moneying for the silk press. Yeah, I do straighten my own hair. It took me a while to figure out like the perfect routine. It's not necessarily all in the tools, but I am in love with the tools that I use and I am like super loyal to this thing. This is the L'Oreal Steam Pod. I think it's 3.0, I think it's the third one they've released. And you like put water in it. This one's really nice because it doesn't have like a separate tank. My old one did and it was, I'd always spill it because I'm clumsy, but this one's really cool because you just get a little bottle that you fill with water and you just slide it into this little tank and you just click it in. So it's super convenient to use, it's so much easier. I just love this straightener, the way that it straightens in one pass so seamlessly. It's got a little comb there. So it effectively does like the chase, is it the chase method? You know where you put the comb in and then follow the comb with the straightener, it essentially does that for you. There's just something about this straightener that I absolutely fell in love with and I just don't see myself using anything else. I can use other straighteners, but I just feel like this works so much faster and just so well and it also really helps keep like the health and integrity of my hair intact first of all when i'm straightening my hair i will blow dry it what i've been doing lately is i've been letting it air dry pretty much completely dry and then i'll blow dry it kind of not as straight as possible i don't like go over and over and over again because the straighteners do the work but i do blow dry it until it's fairly like smoothed out and straight. And I use the Dyson hairdryer for that. I'll link all my hair stuff down below. I use the Dyson hairdryer for that because it's great. But again, you can do it with other hairdryers as well. I do put some products in, which I will leave linked down below before I put any heat on my hair, before I'm blow drying it or straightening it. There are a few products that I just, I have to use them. But yeah, that is essentially the blow dried hair. And then I just take really small sections and this is how I get that super straight effect because as you guys know, my hair is like more afro than just curly. I don't have like looser curls. My curls are pretty tight. Um, so I take really small sections. I have put serum in my hair as well. I comb through it, take the straightener. I pass over my roots quite a few times because my roots tend to revert pretty quickly. And then I just pull the straightener down quite slowly just to make sure that I'm getting all the strands really well. I don't want to rush it and then have to pass over my hair another time. That's literally it. That's all I do. And then yeah, I just continue to take rows of really small sections and I do my hair in four sections. So I'll start with the back and then I'll move to the front. I'll split that in half just because I want the straightener to catch all of my hair. If your hands can handle it, I like to pinch the end of the straightener just to make sure that it's like tight around my hair because I'm doing such small sections. And I'll like curl the straightener under as well, if you guys can see. Just to give it a bit of bounce and body rather than just like pin straight hair. See? It gives it a little zhuzh at the end. That's basically 
basically all I do, I'm just going to carry on through the length of my hair and then I'll show you guys at the end. I just can't believe how quickly my hair is growing. It is, it's great, but it is ridiculous also. I did get another hair question. Do you miss wearing your hair curly? And the straight up answer is absolutely not. Honestly, my hair takes so long to do when it's curly. Like it's just not convenient. It will look nice the day I do it. And then after that point, it's like I either have to slick it back or it's just really frizzy. Like I can't do a hair refresh. If I was to spray my hair with water and then put product in it, it doesn't reset my curl. It just makes my hair look frizzy. It's just a pain to do. I really can't bother. My hair takes so long to dry if I want to have the curls that I, I like. And then having to do it pretty much every day, I just can't be bothered. It's also expensive when you have to do your hair every day but it is literally just so time consuming that it's just an inconvenience for me but if i'm being honest i do also prefer well you guys will notice i either wear my hair in like a super slick back bun because i just love the way that looks on my face or i'll have it straight i just love like the fluidity of it i just love the way that looks as well especially with the color but i just don't really like the way my hair looks curly on me i think my hair's amazing i just don't think the curls particularly suit me unless i've got them in a half up half down but again it's just so long and i also don't like having it out like that because i feel like it can be very damaging especially in the winter months when um, you know, it's laying on top of like scarves and like woolly jackets that are catching your hair and drying it out. In the summer months, I definitely lean more towards wearing it curly if I'm going to wear it curly. But when it comes to the winter months, I just, it's just not for me. I love a braid. I love wearing it straight. And I think my favorite is just a slick back bun, especially when it's so rainy and, well, I was going to say in England. In London but no in Manchester it's even more rainy in the colder months it's like just rainy all the time so slick back bun for me is the way to go especially like with my job and my lifestyle when my hair's straight I don't have to do anything I wake up I can go when my hair's in braids I don't have to do anything I can wake up and just go the bun a little bit more annoying because I have to redo that every day but I'm willing to do that because it's not as time consuming as the curls and I just love the way it looks. So yeah, I hope that answers your question. I'm also at the point now where I don't really care if I get damaged, like it's just hair. I had a phase where I was like obsessed with like, oh my God, my hair needs to be so healthy and all my curls need to be popping, but it's just hair, like I wanna have fun with it. I hope that these little, I guess, tutorial was helpful as well. If you have any more questions about how I straighten my hair, feel free to ask me and I will answer um, in another video or I'll just reply to your comment down below. My hair is thriving since I cut it also, by the way. I feel like it's grown so much since that video. That is it, that's how I straighten my hair.